Hi there, you're welcome to this episode of Daily Mathematics where we have a very nice question here 2 raised to the power of 2x squared divided by 4 raised to the power of x equals 16 and here we are to find x, right? Find x, right? So solution, let's go into it straight away solution, so 2 raised to the power of 2x, let's rewrite it 2 raised to the power of 2x squared divided by 4 raised to the power of x equals 16. Now, what's the first approach we have to take in a question like this? So, from here, we can see that all these numbers are factors of 2, right? Uh, uh, multiples of 2, you can see this is 2, 4, and this is 16. So, we can have it like 2 raised to the power of 2x squared over 2 raised to the power of 2, that's 2 squared raised to the power of x equals 16 becomes 2 raised to the power of 4. Right, so doing this it makes us it makes it the question easier for us to solve. Right, so from here we can bring 2 raised to the power of 2x squared divided by 2 raised to the power of. So from here we have 2 raised to the power of 2 uh, bracket x. So when we have a raised to the power of m, right, raised to the power of n, it gives us a raised to the power of m n y because we multiply the powers according to the laws of exponents. So from here we have 2 times x giving us 2x equals 2 raised to the power of 4, right? So from here, when we have a raised to the power of m over a raised to the power of n, it gives us, since the numbers are the same, so we have a raised to the power of m, division changes to minus n, right? So we'll do the same thing for here. So from here, we have 2, 2 here, so we take 1, 2 raised to the power of 2x squared, and then division changes to minus 2x. Then we have equals 2 raised to the power of 4. Right, so for me, you can assume the next thing. We have the basis to be the same too. So we equate the pass, making it 2x squared minus 2x equals 4. Right, so we equate the pass. You know that? So from here, what's the next thing to do? We can bring this 4 to the other side and he becomes another equation 2x squared minus 2x. So if this is plus 4. When we bring it over to this side, it becomes minus 4 equals 0. Right? So from here, you can see we have a quadratic equation, but you can still see that these numbers are multiples of 2. So we have 2, we can divide all through by 2 to make the equation smaller, a bit smaller. Right? So from here, what do we have? So from here, 2 divided by 2, we have x squared, right? Minus 2 divided by 2, we have x. Minus 4 divided by 2, we have 2 equals 0. So from here, we have quadratic equation. We have a quadratic equation, right? So from here, what do we have? So from here, x squared minus x equal, uh, minus 2 equals 0. So from here, we're using our quadratic formula. So we have a, b, c here. So x equals to minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So what's our a, b, and c? Our a here is 1. Our b is minus 1. Our c is minus 2. So from here x equals minus b this is minus b that's minus minus one right plus or minus square root b squared that's minus one squared minus four times a is one times c is minus two over two a that's two times one right so from here what's the next thing to do right so for here what's the next thing to do let's simplify it so from here minus times minus gives us plus that's plus one plus or minus square root b squared minus 1 squared gives us 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 2 minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 minus 4 times minus 2 gives us plus 8 over 2 times 1 gives us 2 equal to so from here we have 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 8 gives us 9 over 2 so our answer is giving us 1 plus square root of 9 gives us 3 plus or minus over 2 right so our answer x is now giving us 1 plus 3 over 2 or 1 minus 3 over 2. So 1 plus 3 over 2 is 4 over 2 or minus 2 over 2, right? So from here, what do we have? So from here, we have 4 divided by 2 gives us 2 or minus 1, right? So from here, our answer here x1 x2 we have two values of x is equal to 2 and minus 1 right so we can see our values of x 2 and minus 1 right 
Good. So from here, let's now check the two values if they correspond with our original equation here, right? This is the equation. So let's check here, right? So let's check. Let's check. So the original equation here, we have it to be 2 raised to the power of 2x squared equals 6 uh, over 4 raised to the power of x equals 16. Now using this uh, answer here, we have two values of x, right? Using this one here, 2, right? Let's use this one here, 2. So let's assume x is 2. In this case, x1 equals 2, right? So that's 2 raised to the power of 2 times, so where there's x, we put 2 times 2 squared over 4 raised to the power of 2. Now, does it give us, right, 16? We want to get if this value gives us 16, then we know our answer is correct, right? So from here we have, so let's just do it straight up. So this is 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, right? 4 times 2, 8. So we have 2 raised to the power of 8 over, divided by, so from here 4 is 2 raised to the power of 2. That the 2 times 2 is 4, right? If you understand what I mean, equals 16. So from here, we can bring out these two common ones. This is 2. So it now becomes 8. Division turns to minus 4 according to the laws of indices, just like what we did here, just like the law we said here. So that's exactly what we're doing. So equals 16. Does it give us 16? So 2 raised to the power of 8 minus 4 is 4. 16 is also 2 raised to the power of 4. So we can see that these two are equal, right? 2 raised to the power of 4 is 16, and this is also 16. So it is correct. Now you might be wondering, what about the other number, the other value of x here where we got to be uh, minus 1 here, minus 1, right? So let's rewrite the equation, right? This equation here, 2 raised to the power of 2x squared, 2 raised to the power of 2x squared divided by 4 raised to the power of x equals 16. Here, x2 equals minus 1, right? So let's check. So from here, we have 2 raised to the power of 2 times minus 1 squared, times minus 1 squared, right, over 4 raised to the power of minus 1. Does it give us 16, right? So let's do this quickly. So from here, we have 2. So minus 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2, 2. So we have 2 raised to the power of 2 over 4 raised to the power of minus 1, that's the, according to the law of if we have a raised to the power of minus 1, it gives us 1 over a raised to the power of 1. This minus changes to 1 over, so from here we have 1 over 4 raised to the power of 1, right? Does it give us 16, right? So let's continue, 4 squared is 4, right? So let's do it here, 4 squared is 4, right? Divided by 1 over 4. So does this give us 16? So this 4, we have divided by, divided division things changes to multiplication, and then this other fraction interchanges to 4 over 1. Does it give us 16? And here you can see what's next. 4 times 4 gives us 16, right? So you can see that both answers are correct. So our value for x is these answers having x1 and x2 right now this brings us to the end of this interesting question please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and leave your genuine thoughts about this video thank you very much